What's going on guys today we're going to talk about building a fire barrel that's probably going to last a little longer than this one so as typically everybody who uses fire barrels they do realize that these things don't last forever they rust they deteriorate and i've been trying to figure out a method that will make these last a little longer and burn a little bit more efficient now obviously i've gone through this a couple times already had some variations and learned a lot of things when building burn barrels for instance when i first started i typically just set the burn barrel on the ground lit the fire put some holes in it burned it but what that did is it prematurely rotted out the bottom of the barrel and then uh, i learned to stack those up on top of like what i'm using right now is brake rotors and that seemed to work. Center blocks, I did use, but they typically would disintegrate and the heat would break them down. They'd crack and it'd just be a mess. And you don't want a tipped over burn barrel when you're burning. So brake uh, rotors and things of that nature worked really good for me. So now on to the next revision. Got them off the ground, punched some holes in the bottom, and then try to get that ash from sitting in there soaking and holding on the water, rusting the bottom out. Well, what I found with that is this. So typically what happens is these things get so hot that the bottom just just disintegrates out of the dang thing so the trick is is reduce the heat on the bottom so this next barrel i'm going to make i'm not going to put holes in the bottom of it um not at least i'm not on the sides i will put holes in the bottom of the drum so in case any water or anything sits down in there it'll leak uh you know it'll leak out and drain out but i'm going to try to reduce the the turbulence and air flow around the bottom try to keep it solid and make it last a little bit longer now there is one interesting that i'm going to do besides putting bullet holes in the sides of these things for airflow and i'm hoping it will work out like i want it to the next thing that we're going to do is when we cut the top off our new drum we're going to cut it off under the lip and we're going to save the top of this drum so when we're done burning we can put the top back on the drum so when it rains that water doesn't sit in there and sit in that ash and then obviously rust out and weaken the bottom now the new thing that i'm going to try is i am going to cut slits into the barrel rather than shooting it up with a pistol not as fun but i think it's gonna be more effective let me explain what i'm doing so on this barrel here you can tell we just we shot our full of holes and you can tell it's just not really consistent right and obviously when you shoot barrels you're gonna get those little lips punching out and a lot of sharp edges and whatnot and it lets air flow in here but it doesn't really direct it very well so what we're gonna do on the new barrel we're gonna leave the bottom alone and on the top two rings we're gonna cut slits diagonally in there we're going to take a punch and then move the slit open and create a pocket so when the air goes by it'll swirl in the trash can creating a vortex and hopefully burn the trasher a little bit more efficient that one was well on its way out so it lasted me a little over a year which is a uh, pretty good in my book let's get started on this barrel all right, so here's our barrel here. Just a steel barrel, nothing special. It housed a uh, liquid glycol, so there's nothing unsafe about what's in this barrel, what remains in this barrel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this lip, we're gonna cut this lid right off. Typically what I usually do is I cut all the way around in the inside lip and I leave this nice little fat lip here for uh, just kinda something I can grab a hold of and it doesn't bite me or whatever in the future but the reason why we're going to cut here and not here is I want to save this I want to put this back on the barrel when we're not using this so we can keep the rainwater from sitting in the bottom of the barrel when there's ash left behind next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the slits through here probably about three inches or so I haven't figured out the angle yet We'll do the punch and we'll angle all the way around. And then of course on the bottom of the barrel, we'll wind up punching a couple holes down there. 
on the very, very bottom so we can get some airflow going up. But we are going to avoid putting anything in this area because we don't want this to burn as hot. Because this is where typically your barrel is going to fail uh, within probably about a year's time if you do everything that I've been doing. Keeping it off the ground, dumping the ash out, proper airflow. And now we're going to see how long this one lasts us. But even more interesting, I want to see if I can get this barrel to create a fire vortex just with the airflow direction instead of punching holes into it and shooting holes in it. I know not as fun, but we're going to try to get this thing to create a fire tornado, should we say. All right, let's get started. There we go. Our very first cyclone louvered burn barrel 3000 Mach 1. Looks pretty good. True test is uh does it work? Today is not very windy, so but it's chilly. Let's go burn some stuff. these old rotor drums get a nice little air going underneath there <coughs> then we'll start off with a little cardboard paper the only thing I didn't get done was putting in a hole on the bottom that could actually light this from the bottom and may have to just add one of those because typically I just have a hole in the bottom I'd lit, light it up from the bottom there and get her going so we may have to add one may not who knows oh I can see I see rotation we gotta see what it does when it gets really hot Start with some cardboard. We always got plenty of this. Before we throw a bag in there. Oh my gosh. You guys see that? I don't typically like to stand next to these barrels when they're doing this, but it's all blowing that way at least.
We got a slight breeze coming from our backside, but we're kind of blocking with the UTV. But she's twirling. You can tell there's a little bit of a vortex going on in there. See it right there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see that thing spinning? That's exactly what we want, folks. And look, it's not getting as hot on the bottom because we didn't put any of those air holes down there. So we'll see how that works out. Yeah, look at that thing spin. All right, let's feed this thing some more and see what she's got. That burned down a little bit, actually. Oh yeah, she got the swirl going. Check out the swirl. Woo, baby. She getting a little warm. We're gonna back on up. Ooh, there's a nice breeze. Yep, there she goes. She's spinning just like we want it. That's exactly what we wanted. Oh, there's a good breeze right here. Look at that. This is exactly what we wanted it to do. All right, let's load her up a little more. Some feed bags, these always burn up real nice. Now we'll just load this up, see if we can snuff it out. They'll recoup. She's not a hundred percent loaded up, but She's full up to that bottom ring, so I mean, she's doing good. We'll see how this will vortex this, if it'll get it burning hot enough to bring that fire down. Because typically, if you overload the barrel, then it snuffs out the oxygen, and then you just kind of get this smoldering uh, burn barrel that sits around all day, and everybody it ruins everybody's day. Nobody wants to smell that. So the, the mission here is to get this to burn efficiently and quickly as possible and getting longevity out of this barrel doing so. Because you can get these things super hot, but your barrel won't last very long. So we're trying to find the happy medium. 
obviously it sounds like my wife put some wet garbage in there i can hear it sizzling we uh typically will separate our dry and wet because we compost all of our wet uh food items anything like that that goes to the chickens cardboard plastics things like that go to the burn barrel metals other things they go um to the dump we'll find a dumpster collect those up through a month and trash them now <laughs> there's a hundred arguments out there whether or not you should burn garbage or not but i really don't care so if you want to comment that you go on ahead i'm not going to respond to it i much rather burn garbage have the trees clear out the co2s and create and do whatever than rather let it sit in a landfill for twenty five thousand years in the ground leaching so it is what it is i don't care what you think or what your opinion is i know you're going to put them in the comments but we burn trash we don't recycle we don't have an option recycling and i know i'm not going to go out of my way to recycle i don't use cardboard in the garden as weed barriers i use grass clippings for that so that's why we burn cardboard i'm not going to have a bunch of cardboard laying around because that brings mice so we're not saving all that stuff we burn it and get rid of it but i digress back to the back back to the burn barrel it does create a nice little good vortex in there and uh we'll watch this burn and we'll check back and see how this uh how this burns out and see how much is left behind and see how really good uh and efficient this really was and how quick so let's check back when this thing is done All right, guys, it's been about, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes until the sun is starting to set down there. So, yeah, let's see how far it's gone down. She's still burning good, though. Oh, yeah, there's hardly anything in there. Let's get this stirred up. Hey, guys, should we, should we stir this up? Yeah? All right. We're gonna stir this up. You guys stay right there. I don't want, I don't want anybody getting hurt, okay? Yeah, stir it up. That seemed to do the trick. Not too shabby. Well, guys and girls, that is one efficient barrel right there. No problems at all. It worked exactly like I wanted it to. Now the real test is, is we'll see how long this thing lasts and uh, see if it holds up to uh, the next year worth of burning. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this trick helps you guys out in some way or you guys learn from my, uh, my mistakes of putting that barrel straight on the ground. And if not, you know, we all got to learn somehow. So just do weird things. Try something out. It's just a burn barrel. It's cheap and it's fun to burn stuff. All right. I'll see you in the next episode.